Hey there Leo, welcome back. This is Renee and this is going to be your April 2023 reading. So welcome. Hey Leo, I hope things have been well. As we get into this reading, we're going to pull some of your energy Leo and see what's going on. Okay, release your ex. Wow, <laughs> okay. The time has come to clear your energy. So there may be an uh, ex-relationship that you need to let go of, that you need to just release. Um, maybe you need to really distance yourself from. Uh, but I feel like there's someone who's kind of draining your energy here. Maybe this ex-spouse, um, an ex-relationship, maybe even an ex-job, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, there's someone who's really draining your energy and it's time to release this energy, um, from your, your aura, your path. Okay. We also have creative writing. So you may be an artist. You may be a, someone who writes, someone who journals. Um, I also feel like maybe you're someone who sketch, who sketch artists things you know and i know i'm not saying that correctly but you know what i'm getting at right um we have archangel gabriel make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen or an article or a book okay so there's there's going to be some kind of writing that you'll probably be doing um even if it's just writing down your thoughts, writing down your emotions. Okay. Let's get some more energy for Leo. Okay, we have why. You know, I feel like... I feel like you're in kind of this stuck energy, Leo. Let's see. We also have imagine. Okay. I feel like you're in kind of this stuck energy. Like you're asking a lot of questions. Why is this happening? Why is this going on? You know, uh, the number 31 or the number 20 may be very significant. It may be your age. It may be someone who you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like you're, you're asking a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions that you need answered, right? And I feel like you're imagining the situation. You, you, you're, I feel like you're deep in thought about a lot of things, Leo. Um, if you take a look at this picture, she's there's an angel there. There's someone who's has lassoed the moon, and they're really trying to bring that moon down to earth, right? They're trying to make some kind of dream a reality, but they're imagining the big things. So I feel like that's what you need to do. Maybe that will help you answer some of the questions by dreaming big and then trying to pursue whatever it is that you are thinking about doing. There's something that you're thinking about that you need to start, right? So, I mean, take that how it resonates, Leo. But I feel like, you know, there's something that you're kind of caught in between. But there's a lot of things on your mind at the moment. I feel like that's the reason why Spirit is letting you know, you know, write some things down. Get some things off your chest. If you can't speak them out to someone, speak them out on paper. Okay? I feel like it'll be very therapeutic for you. You know, it'll be good therapy. Okay? So let's take a look at Leo's love life. What's going on in Leo's love life? At the moment, what's going on in Leo's love life? Okay, we have keys on a ring, many options, decisions. I feel like with this keys on a ring, I feel like you're moving in with someone. There's someone that you're spending more time with that you're moving in with. Um, it may be a new relationship. That may be the reason why we have this release your ex. I feel like your ex is very jealous of the new relationship that you're in. They kind of feel very envious. Like, why weren't you like this with me? Right? And I feel like they see that and they're like, 
on fire trying to get some kind of um, reaction from you. So I feel like that's what's doing it. Yeah, comp the snake, competition. Someone's being clever. Someone is trying to sabotage the new relationship that you have. Okay, so that may be this ex that's still trying to be in the picture. So that's something that you need to be aware of, Leo, because I feel like, you know, this new situation isn't going to be able to thrive. This ex here is going to try to scare off this new person, going to try to be clever and manipulative. And I feel like they're kind of throwing a monkey wrench in your situation. If you have kids with this ex, oh my gosh, it's even worse. Because I feel like this person really wants to let the other one know that they've still got control over you, right? I feel like this person may ask you to pay bills or ask you for certain favors and they're like telling your new person, yeah, I still got, I still got this like that, you know? I still have control. They still help me. Leo still takes care of me. So, you know, I feel like there's a lot of envy. There's a lot of competition there. Okay. So uh, that's something that I feel like you'll be working with in the month of April. But I feel like there is this new relationship. There is this new relationship that is building for you. Okay. Just beware of this ex who's trying very hard to start trouble. Okay. That's something that you just need to be aware of. Okay, let's take a look in the tarot. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Okay, wow. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. <clears throat> we have the King of Wands and the World card. Wow, okay. The sun is popping out there. We have the devil and the page of wands. Okay. At the bottom, we have the two of pentacles. So I feel like what you're needing at the moment is balance. What you're needing at the moment is to view your options, weigh the options, and find the best um, possible opportunity right um you may have a lot of opportunities you may have a lot of things on your plate at the moment i feel like you know you're very busy but i feel like things are going pretty well for you overall leo we have the nine of pentacles and the four of cups so i feel like there's some kind of situation that you're in this nine of pentacles situation i feel like um it's leading to some kind of increase you may have an offer of a new job or new position but i feel like you're kind of weighing the options of this and you you may refuse it you may accept it but i feel like you're thinking very hard about it so if this is a new job opportunity or a new position that's being offered to you i feel like you're kind of you feel like it's a really good fit you feel like it's more money you feel like you know it's going to bring you more stability and more self-sustain ability right but i feel like it's something that you're really thinking about you haven't really made a decision yet so you may decide to refuse this offer depending on what options you take that is the option that is the choice that we were uh, taking a look at you know that is that that choice here right and i feel like you're you're searching for the answer for that you're searching to see if it's going to be a good fit right so if this is career, if this is in your life in general, I feel like, you know, there's something that you're really thinking about. Now, in April, there is going to be a lot of action that you're going to be taking. I feel like in the month of April, you're going to be very confident 
you're going to be on fire doing things that, that you love to do, right? There's new passion, new abilities. You're adapting to your situation as you see the chameleons that he's holding and they're, that are on his cloak, right? Um, those chameleons signify change. Change and adaptability. So whatever changes that you're going through, I feel like you're adapting to very easily. I feel like it's just flowing into place, you know. And with this world card, there's there's some kind of lesson that you've completed. You've achieved some kind of goal. Now, it's pushing you into a new cycle, a new beginning. So these are changes coming forward. There's something that's you know, changing in your life in the month of April, right? So I feel like you're adapting very well to these changes. And I feel like you're you're kind of caught between happiness and negativity, you know? I feel like, you know, there are days when you're just happy, excited, overflowing. And then there's other days when you're really bummed out. You're feeling really negative. You feel like that monkey on your shoulder that's just weighing you down. Okay? Um, this could also be some kind of toxicity in your life that you need to release. This could also be some sort of addiction, some sort of bad habit that you're hanging on to that's blocking this happiness here. But I feel like... With this Page of Wands energy, if you notice, he's walking away from a situation. He's walk he's taking action and he's changing things. As you see the chameleons on his uh, dress as well, right? Um, on his clothes, you see the chameleon. So he's changing the situation. And I feel like he's making action to change some kind of negativity in his life. Because the Page of Wands, they're all about fire. They're all about getting things done, movement, passion, right? Having the drive to succeed, excitement, enthusiasm. You know, they don't have any time for this negativity, this, you know, jealousy or envy, right? So I feel like there is this energy that you're moving away from. You're taking action to you know, move past this negative energy in April. So there there are things that you're adapting to that you find it more easier to focus on the positive. Okay? So that's beautiful for you. Leo. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify real quick. See what else comes out. For Leo, clarify these cards, please, Spirit, give me a message. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, with this negative energy, I feel like, you know, there are times when you're very anxious, you're very fearful, you're not quite sure what to do or what answers are going to come and it kind of pushes you into this self-imposed restriction you're you're not really making a move you're just like stuck there in action you're um kind of focusing on the fear you're focusing on the anxiety something that's worrying you right but i feel like if you just use these lessons that you've learned right they're surrounded by these lessons. By using the lessons that you've learned from past experience, you can totally cut these ropes, cut these ties, free yourself. Because you've already learned the lesson from whatever that you're going through now. Because you, you have that ability, you know? Um, you have that ability to free yourself. From the situation. So don't be restricted by things that are holding you back. You know, uh, you have the ability to push through it. You have the lessons that you've learned from past experience to get through this situation. 
okay? And we also have the Three of Swords. So, yeah, there is something very deep that you're going to be contemplating in the month of April. There's something very deep. Something is leaving you very worried. Let's see. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Give me a message. Why is Leo feeling fear and heartbreak? Why are they restricted? Page of Swords. Okay, something is coming out. Something's over with. Oh, wow. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of situations. It may be due to the social setting that you're in. This may be a third party situation. This may be this ex coming in to really throw a monkey wrench in your situation, right? Because I feel like I feel like something that you put a lot of energy into, someone has spoken something, someone has put out their rumors, someone has said something, and now you, you're feeling like it's over with, like it's done with, like you lost your queen, right? You're deep in your feelings. You're just overwhelmed with emotion, okay? Um, so it is... it. it could very well be some something to do with this ex here really trying to really make your life miserable it feels like um it feels like they're really trying to protect what they want you know and they still want you leo right but i feel like this protection runs both ways you can also protect your energy protect what you love what you what you know is to be right and i feel like you will be doing that um i feel like it's a big weight off of you but you're gonna get through this situation you're gonna create something that is better look at this you're gonna create something new so this is just something that happens you know this is something that's moving through april Okay, so it's not something to be worried about, but it's something to be aware about. Be aware of this person who's trying to throw rumors, start stuff, and, you know, kind of mess up your day, mess up, you know, uh, your time here, okay? But whatever this is, you're going to push through it. You're going to be just fine, Leo, because you're, you're regaining your balance here. You're able to focus on what is important and you're able to just keep moving. Keep moving on your, on your journey because what you're creating is magic, okay? There will be things that you're still manifesting. This person is just envious, jealous. They, they just mean you no good. And I'm really getting that this is this ex here who's trying to really cause trouble. They're trying to really make your person very jealous. They're trying to end your new relationship, right? If this is the new relationship, if this is a, if, if you're not currently in a relationship and this ex is here, I feel like this ex is really spying on you. They're really trying to get information on you. They're really trying to mess up your day, right? They want to make sure that, you know, um, no one comes into your path. You know, they want you back. But I feel like they want you back just to make you miserable. That's what I'm getting from this X energy. They're just, ugh. I don't like their energy at all. Their energy is just ugly. Wow. Okay, let's get some love tarot for, take a look at the romance tarot for Leo. Okay, we have the nine of action, which is the nine of wands. So make sure that you persevere, you know, stand guard, stand on what you believe, on what you know is right. Okay, you worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships amazing accomplishments and hearth and home rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected 
by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. Okay, so I, I, I feel like standing on your beliefs, standing your ground, uh, you have your angels' protection during this time, and just keep focus on the things that are truly important to you. Okay, Leo? Okay, we have Healer of Abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to, in a, to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift of design and decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. Okay, all right, and we have Messenger of Emotion. Okay, this is the Page of Cups. Okay, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing. A social invitation could be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindest intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Right. And I'm really getting this is that new person's energy. Okay. So if you haven't met this person yet, I feel like this new person is coming in to kind of draw you away from this nasty vow energy of this ex. Okay? That's where this competition and envy is, co is coming in. Because your ex sees you with someone new. With someone maybe better than they are. Right? So they, they're just green with envy. They're like on fire about the situation. Okay, let's go ahead and get a moonology card for Leo. <clears throat> Keep your heart open. Be open to love. Be open and receptive, right? And we have know your worth. So know you are capable. Know you are creative. Know you are worth everything. You are priceless, right, Leo? Know your worth, okay? Know that you are better than some situations. Okay, let's go ahead and get a Moonology card. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Definitely. This is definitely going to be a month to be more aligned, to find your balance, to, you know, gain your focus. Okay? Um, I feel like there are certain things in the month of April that are going to try to keep you off of focus. But just stand your ground. Be persistent and follow your path okay okay we have two we have yellow look at this flexibility adaptability personal power okay so definitely you're finding your personal power you're able to to adapt very easily to your situation okay and green this is also the heart chakra right so, and I feel like love is coming in for you. There's something that is going to make you feel very powerful in love. I feel like you are opening your heart to a new person. Someone who's very kind, loving, caring, very funny and vibrant, right? So, that's beautiful energy. Okay, let's go ahead and get an angel number for Leo. What do the angels want to say to Leo, please? Alignment. There you go. Balance. Okay, we have 777, alignment. Your progress is being recognized and alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. Okay, your affirmation, I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. Okay, so beautiful reading here. Okay, Leo, this is your reading. Okay, I hope this resonates. I hope this helps. Um, if, 
it resonates, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more at this time, okay? And make sure to take a look at my merch shop here. Um, be mindfully beautiful, okay? And um, I'm loving these, these items so far. They turned out really well. So until your next reading, Leo, many blessings to you. Love and light.